Hey there, everyone. I hope you are all doing good. Today, I am back, as promised, on the tracker, because it's been a while. As um, most of the first videos I did on this channel were tips and tricks about the Polyan tracker, and all those videos have aged quite a bit, because I've, I was not very good at making videos at the time. I'm still a complete amateur right now, but uh, I got better a little bit. So I'm going to go back on a few of those tips and tricks. The main topic of this video is going to be parallel processing. But before we are diving deeper, let me explain to you what parallel processing is. I have one channel here, good old jungle breakbeat. So this is our main signal. Parallel processing is using one signal that is going to be called the dry signal and send it to an effect that we are getting back on another channel. Basically here, both our reverb and delay are actually send effects. So it is a sort, in a way, parallel processing because we are sending our dry signal to the delay. And on our mixer, this is our dry track one, our dry mix, and we can have here only the delay. So here I can have just my delayed signal, just my dry signal, or both and I can adjust the level of the effects. This is parallel processing already. What's most uncommon is try to turn some effects that are in series, so like on top of our sound, and to make them parallel. So here, another example is the overdrive or the beat crushing things. Those are directly applied to the signal. If I wanted to have my uncrushed sound mixed with a very, very crushed version of itself, I would use this. So let's copy it. And here I have the same track. Uh, with the tracker, we can either use the effects. So here could feel the overdrive at a, like on every step feel and then decide this and then apply a volume feel as well fx type volume feel and so this is my wet distorted level The other way to do this, as we will see quite often, is to... So I'm using instrument number 8. So you go and you copy your instrument number 8. You put it somewhere else. 20. Here you select your lane, you copy it. But this one is going to be instrument 20. And from there... Let's say we want a very bit crushed and overdriven version of this. No delay. Huh. Volume. Try signal. Overdriven. Ah. Overdriven and crushed. And this lets us also. For example, decide that we want that crush only on one part of the signal. For example, just not on the bass. Or only on the bass. 
lots of stuff to explore. That's what we're going to do. One of my favorite techniques with this kind of breaks is a parallel filtering. So I'm going to go back to the sample bank here and I'm going to take that jumble break number one, a simple loader here. I will copy it and paste it over there. So basically we have twice the same sound. And on the second one, I'm going to rename it just because it will be easier. Filter. Well, we don't care. This one, I'm going to go to the filter page and I'm going to choose pen pass. And a bit of resonance. And so on some of those steps, I'm going to copy them here. But on this row, I'm going to choose instrument number two instead, because this one has the filter on it. Okay, you can start to see the thing. Now we are going to go back on this instrument. And we are going to change its envelope. Make it more snappy. Okay, next step would be to add some LFO. So we have some movement on this filter. Because if you do that straight away on your main breakbeat, you will end up losing most of the bass. And this lets you really like add other effects on top here. I love this kind of stuff. If we go again here, oh, let's just mute this one. I'm going to copy the entire lane here and paste it over there. This one is also going to be changed to instrument number two. If we do that, we have some sort of a phasing effect. Which will change depending on how we set our filter and how we change our modulations. very low resonance, really start to sound like a filter. And then you can, the thing I like to do with this especially is to automate the delay or reverb send. Let's go massive. I love this. Next, let's choose another break. Oh, oh, actually, let's load another sample. Samples, Patreon sample pack. Let's use one of those Bukla thing. Yeah, that's good. Let's make an instrument of this one. So you can do exactly the same here. Duplicate this. Ah, no. Got it wrong. So let's take all this, copy, past, instrument. Oh, simple loader, simple loader. We are going to take this fuzzy detune here, copy, past. And this one is going to get the same treatment. If you choose different type of filter, it will have different effects, of course. So here we have... You don't even have to automate it. Sometimes it's just good like this. Let's try some 
random motivation. Yeah, as I said, you can have different... Uh, as it's two different instruments, you can do different stuff on both. So you can decide to detune one and get more phasey stuff. You can add like overdrive or beat mangling or reverb on just one part. They can have different envelopes like uh, we did earlier. This one could do as well panning things. This one could be like take a few times to get in. So it works very well with both drums and bass or melodic stuff. Okay, so there's the delay. The only way you can use this delay is as a send effect. As fun as it is, it's especially good if you record the output directly. But anyway, I'm losing the point here. The delay is good, but you can't automate the timing of this. So let's remove it. And you don't even have to copy, actually. You just can automate it from the same instrument. So let's take, let's say I, wanna, I want to delay on this snare. I will copy it to the next track. Put the knob over here, because I'm going to use the roll. And the roll does have a mode that starts over there, RV1, where it will decrease the volume. And magic! It does sort of sound like a delay. You can as well automate other things on this, like the filter. You cannot make delay time that are fake delay time that are longer than the current uh, division. Actually, you could by writing it down step by step. But depending on where you place your end, you get some different results. You can get some funny stuff out of this. You can as well randomize it. So you have a new stuff every time. And if you start, let's do what I intended to do first. If we combine the two, we are going to use instrument number 14, which is a copy of the one we are using now. And on this one, I'm going to start to use some filter. I did the opposite here. I'm still on 13. It can work as well. Now let's add some reverb on this. Overdrive, some panning shenanigans. Let's use the square so we get some clicky things. Let's add some LFO oh, envelope. Yeah.
But yeah, there's lots of funny stuff to be made just by copying one instrument or just copying part of it and distributing it across the other channels and use some effects and whatnot to make it do stuff that it's not supposed to do. This is just a 32 step loop. Let's duplicate and change this a little bit. Can also they use just a reverse function. Can make some funny stuff as well. And of course. Uh, let's just use an empty pattern. Let's go back. Let's use another. Okay. Okay. This is weird and not what I intended, but that's also why the tracker is fun. So let's take all those and uh, feel on each step the tune they're even better if you want some phasing you need the micro it's been a while i haven't used it where is it micro tune micro tune from min to max which will phase the two and the longer the pattern you have duplicate the longer if you feel it will make like a long movement if you do it on each step because it will take the old pattern to make a cycle if on this you decide to add filter or any other effect but filter is cool let's use the high pass from the opposite or maybe not the max like this we have something between a flanger and a phaser. Love this. And remember one thing. You can always run the selection. Flangey, that's his name. Flangy. Render selection. Ah! I always forget the render and load. Let's do it again. Auto name. Alleged guest. Whatever. We'll rename it Flangy when we want. Okay. Now we have this as an instrument. That's cool. Then we can slice it. That's fun. And this can be just like a loop in between your other breakbeats. That's fine. Okay, one other way you can look at this same tricks is to make some sort of a chorus. I'm going to load a simple from a simple sound from my synth stuff, DPO. Okay, let's go for this one. 
Okay. So we are again going to, instead of doing the chorus phase trick by copying the same instrument and using the effects lane, we are going to copy this one to another, basically, let's copy it like this. Use the 17 here. So here we have the same, but on the 17, we can use the LFO on the fine tune, which lets you choose a waveform for modulation, an amount, and a rhythm. This is typical parallel processing as well. Then you have your dry signal here, and then you can blend in a little bit of the chorus, adding, panning. We'll make it sound even more chorusy. And what, what's cool here is that you can fine tune it more than normal chorus as your pitch modulation and your pan modulation can be at a different timing. Last thing about delay this time. Let's use the DPO normal one. I'm going to copy this and a way of having a very complex echo sound, like a sort of multi-tap delay thing, is that on this one I'm going to automate just a little bit of the filter and send it a little bit into the reverb. And now, the more repeats we want, the more we do this, and the more we'll filter it out and send it a little bit more to the reverb. See the idea? This is... Let's say this is too much. But, as you can resample it, it can make some interesting effects. I'm using different lane here because if the song is long enough this will make it like sounds like polyphony it will, it will not cut out the sample every time for example let's change that sound to something longer okay let's, let's replace Also, of course, work on drums. You get the idea. Oh, just because before I wrap this up, you can also, of course, decide to get crazy and change the filter type. Many thanks to everyone who watched this video until the end. I will tune some of those break beats with some of my hardware stuff to make those sound a little bit better and uh, put them as samples for the producer pack subscribers on Patreon. Everyone uh, we will be able to download the track project. Look in the description below. That's it. Please consider liking, subscribing and all those algorithmic stuff. Thanks again. Thanks to everyone who's supporting on Patreon. And uh, see you next time.